Good afternoon, dear students. So uh, today I am going to start the uh, bakery and confectionery second part. So I hope uh, Dr. Chaturi has finished the first part. Is about bakery uh, processing technology. So I am going to start confectionery processing technologies. I, and also you you have already done all the practicals uh, regarding this lecture series. So hope it is. Uh, now uh, you 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 have a good hands on experience on those experiments as well as the things i am going to explain uh, with i am going to discuss with you today so uh, <clears throat> confectionery is a very good uh, uh, confectionery industry is a very good industry but it is uh, it is being growing growing so uh, so you can do so many things for the betterment of the confectionery industry here you can see some pictures. So it is uh, not just preparing food products. Uh, it is actually there are so many uh, things to learn. So uh, the chemistry, physics and everything is there. So uh, technology is always needed to improve this in the industry. And here you can see some um, examples, pictures. Uh, so we'll discuss later uh, in detail. These are the learning outcomes of this course module. And uh, the things I'm going to discuss with you throughout this, uh, these uh, several lectures, interaction and classification of sweetness. You know, there are different types of sweetness available, chaotic sweetness and non chaotic sweetness, artificial sweetness and natural sweetness. But nowadays we are discussing with uh, the natural sweetness and the industry has been moved uh, to uh, some natural sweetness uh, and we, we were used some artificial sweetness before uh, 10 or 20 years back but nowadays we are moving for natural sweetness and uh, non-caloric sweetness are very important but you can see uh, in the food labels also nowadays we are using we are moving towards non-caloric sweetness right but uh, there are some uh, problems in the industry based on this issue. So again, I, I, I have this experience. I could, I could see some, uh, again, some industries, again, they have moved to the sucrose or calorie sweetness. Anyway, we will discuss uh, what are the sweet type of sweetness and classification and mechanism of sweetness. So uh, how to sense uh, sweetness for humans, how to identify the sweet taste by your brain. So there is a mechanism. There are sets of uh, mechanisms actually. So uh, all together, as a result of the, those chemical reactions, ultimately we can identify the sweet taste. So I have already uploaded two research papers to the LMS regarding the sweetness mechanism. Therefore, I am not going to explain its mechanism. So you can, you all can read those two papers and prepare a brief report. I will give you the instructions for that assignment. So you can read, I have, you can read the research papers which I have uploaded to the LMS and carefully go through these papers and highlight the important areas regarding the mechanism of sweetness, how to identify the sweetness by your brain and how, and also the uh, sweetness identification. So you can read the papers and take the important points out and prepare the report. I will share the instruction in the same folder. And sugar chemistry. I hope that you know, uh, you have already studied about carbohydrate and sugar, its molecules, all these things. So uh, sugar chemi chemistry is their classification of confectionery products. So different types of confection products are available in the market. And also we can develop some other types of confectioneries by changing their technology. So we will discuss uh, these things. And chocolate processing technology, it is very important in Sri Lanka, we have uh, cocoa, so we can develop chocolates and different types of value-added products also. And some product developments, I hope that uh, you can remember the things we have practiced in the laboratory for your practicals. So, and quality assurance. So for all these, uh, for all the food processing industries and uh, 
um, what, do you, what do you call the product developments, quality assurance is very important. Uh, in extrusion also, we are going to discuss how to assure us the quality, how to, quality, how to do the quality assurance. And the confectionery also, we have to assure its quality, right? So these things are very important. Uh, confectionery industry. Uh, when we call the word as confectionery, we can remember the toffees are available, right? Chocolates are available, right? different types of uh, toffees and confectionaries and different types of different varieties, different brands are available. And the price, do you have idea about the price of these confectionaries? Uh, comparing to the other types of food products, maybe bakery products, the pizza, you know the price of uh, pizza, it's more than 1000 rupees. But a confectionery, you can get a lot, neither confectionaries. And taste, it basically a sweet taste. But nowadays we have different taste confectionaries. And the ultimate objective of this course module is to motivate you to do develop more uh, value added food products. Then you can apply, you can uh, use different types of uh, raw materials available in Sri Lanka, herbs also, right? Some natural ingredients you can use to develop new products. Actually, there are two types of confectionaries, sugar-based confectionaries and flour-based confectionaries, right? We will discuss. But nutrition value is, it is very important, but uh, the non-communicable diseases are we are talking about NCDs. It's a hot topic uh, in the world nowadays because uh, one third of the population is suffering from uh, diabetics mellitus, type 2 diabetics. So therefore, the sugar is a critical topic for that issue. Therefore, then, then we can try to develop this type of confectionaries in a healthy way, right? But uh, still we have very low nutrition in uh, confectionaries. We have only energy and carbohydrate. Uh, the very important thing is it is very popular among all age categories, right? It means from uh, infants to elder people, they like uh, our grandparents, grandfather, grandmother also like to eat confection, right? So therefore, we have a very big market for confectionery. And comparing to the other food products, the shelf life also, is higher, right? It means less perishable. And we do not need to have refrigeration facilities for some confectioners we need, but basically we do need not to have, right? So there are so many advantages in confectioner industry, right? Here you can see different types of confectioneries. Cotton candies, soft candies, gummies, fondants, hard boiled and marshmallow. So there are different types of uh, confectionaries are available. So you all have experience how to develop uh, this type of confectionaries. You have done, uh, you have developed some uh, types of confectionaries in the laboratory. Uh, so uh, I am not going to explain in detail. And here you can see different types of confectionaries. Then fondant, when it comes to fondant, so it's actually uh, the fondant, uh, it is, you know, the icing procedure. Uh, if I ask a question like this, are the fondants and icing as, uh, the, the, are the similar process? No. The process, uh, the texture is a little bit similar, but there are two processes. Fondant means it's a type of confectionery, and we are going to mix sucrose together with glucose syrup or we call it as corn syrup right it is a concentrated uh, and we are going to concentrate the sugar and uh, glucose syrup mixture and we add basically we add gelatin and we will and uh, and the, the, thereafter heat it up to some extent while the until the concentration reach to around 90 degrees. 
right and moisture is also there around 10 to 14 so uh, it is actually a different type of confectionery you can see fondants are you can see fondants in the industries and it is uh, very popular right then you can develop uh, tires some fondants in your home you can get some recipes from the youtube walls right here you can see top 10 uh, confectionery manufacturers in the world and their sales according to the reports available in 2018 right and uh, the world famous brands usa italy japan like there are different types of brands right when you travel to a country to uh, in the duty free all the people they are going to purchase some confectionaries right when we enter to the uh, supermarkets and the duty free shops then we can see these names these brands right we can see these brands in their duty free shop so the world famous confectionery manufacturers uh, i have summarized 10 but there are so many manufacturers but the industry is lagging it is still developed right is developing industry so there is a space we have very big demand but uh, there is a gap in between the uh, expectation and the current production so vacuum is there so we can address to that uh, vacuum right here also you can see some popular food products i uh, suppose you all know these brands and you have consumed even uh, one brand out of these uh, brands uh, Tic Tac, it's one of the popular uh, confectionaries available in Sri Lanka for cheap price. And uh, Kinder Joy, like uh, Ferraro, they, they are, the price are expensive, but taste is very good, right? So, uh, different types of confectionaries are available in the market. Uh, the price is price also increased with its quality, right? Leading manufacturers, confection manufacturers in Sri Lanka, Perpet Fan, Mille, Ferraro, Nestle, France, like there are different countries. You can log on to their websites and just, uh, just have a look on their website and uh, identify the products, what type of products they are developing, right? Dainty is one of the very popular industry in Sri Lanka, Candos. Different types of industries are available, different industries with uh, different scales. So, uh, large scale, medium scale, and small scale companies are available. So, uh, please visit their websites and go to the, their products range and uh, discuss and study the, what type of products they have and the packaging material, right? Type uh, the designs they have used, and also the price and also the ingredients then only you can get an idea about the industry so you can download all the theory and the practical sessions videos everything from the internet within a minute right but you can't get the industrial exposure right so we have uh, fortunately i was able to get that experience with different industries so uh, it's a very good thing so you can you can get the those things from even the internet now because there are no provisions you to go to the industries so uh, the internet is available so you can just click on these links and please visit their websites and uh, get some details not only the sri lanka manufacturers but also uh, some international manufacturers are there so we are moving to the very important parts of this lecture series this, today I am going to discuss about the heart of the, this lecture series. So if you are going to miss this part, then uh, it is useless to go for other lectures. So carefully read, carefully understand the things I am going to explain today. So it, these are very important, very general things. You all have this experience. You know what is sugar, everything. But the chemistry and its behavior is very important. Rather than having that knowledge, then you can uh, go for production.
right so sugar is a very common ingredient major ingredient used in confectionery industry so even in our home we are using sugar and in the country so uh, nowadays you can see the living cost is been increased rapidly drastically increasing but the people they are talking about the price of a kilo one kilogram of sugar it is actually a very critical factor in uh, not only in sri lanka as well as other asian countries so sugar is one of the very critical uh, ingredient available in our home and also kitchen so therefore uh, it plays a crit critical major role role in our economy as well but fortunately nowadays uh, the, the, the the sugar industry in sri lanka is very good we are developing sugar cane sugar and the first time the palavath sugar uh, i can't remember its name so there is a sugar manufacturer in palavath it's a government one so they are earning profits right usually you know government in institutions they are earned, they are not earning profits but there are so many losses but fortunately uh, it's very nice to hear that they are earning profits and we had a very big bad story regarding the sugar last a few months right so it is actually directly um, caused to the industries also so therefore uh, as technologists then we can find solutions for sugar there are different types of sources are available as an example what you can use watermelon and beetroot to develop sugar and in sri lanka our climate is very good for cane so therefore we have enough spaces we have technology so uh, if you can visit that uh, sugar manufacturing plant available in uh, situated in palavath you will be able to get a good experience i will try to arrange a field visit after you uh, come to the faculty physical so definitely i will arrange it right okay then uh, two types of sugar confectioners are available boil uh, sweets and fondants boil sweets are sugar and uh, boil sweets means the name boil is there so then we are going to increase the temperature neither the sugar and water mixture is there right so uh, i hope you can remember the things then we are going to mix water and sugar and then increase its temperature up to up to some predetermined stage temperature right practically no water remains therefore a uh, glassy texture you can get right right you can get a glassy texture and you can get hard boiled soft boiled candies we will discuss this things later right fondant means we are going to mix it with different ingredients and temperature also somewhat uh, around low or lower range here the temperature is 150 to 166 for fondant it's a lower one key factors can you remember the key factors for uh, sugar confectioneries temperature is critical time is critical stirring speed is critical water amount is critical it means raw materials are critical and the quality of raw materials are again critical so as an example if if we use white sugar then the color is different if we use the uh, the, the brown sugar then the color is entirely different when we use uh, citric acid as it together together with the raw material then you will get a different texture when we increase the temperature up to some extent so the our ultimate objective is to get a hard boiled candy so when we, mistakenly the temperature has been decreased so then thereafter you can you will get a different product so the critical factors are temperature time stirring speed and the raw materials and their quality so we will discuss these uh, factors uh, throughout this lecture series and it is very important to maintain right when it comes to sugar it is a type of carbohydrate and basically we we use sugar as the main sweet in our uh, for our uh, day to day life in our day to day life right uh, when it when we discuss the role of sugar in the industry 
basically we use it as a bulking agent right it will provide the texture it will provide the bulkness of the for the product right as an example for a for an example let uh, let's say it's a uh, hack stuffing right hack stuffing so you can imagine its texture and which one provide its bulkiness texture it's all uh, the, the responsible raw metal is sugar right basically we use sucrose and its origin is cane or beet in sri lanka but we can develop sugar from watermelon like uh, we have different types of raw metals in sri lanka therefore as i told you earlier there is a space there is a vacuum there is a gap for many research activities so hopefully we can do some research uh, in your final year so uh, i am very happy to do the research with you regarding this uh, confectionery industry right different types of sugar white sugar sucrose brown sugar means sucrose uh, plus glucose like honey golden syrup molasses like different types of sugars are available use it as a bulking agent and also a main sweet in sri lanka right then uh, i i i think that you know what are the monosaccharide disaccharide and polysaccharide basically uh, sucrose is a disaccharide uh, two monosaccharides are there glucose and fructose d glucose alpha d and beta d fructose uh, the amalgamate and produce sucrose right it's actually sucrose is actually a product of glucose and fructose you can see the mechanism and the structures also here then uh, how to form sucrose it is a disaccharide uh, two responsible monosaccharides are there glucose and fructose right basically we use uh, sucrose in uh, not only food industry but also in medicines and uh, some pharmaceutical pharmaceutical productions as well right and sweetness as i told you earlier then you can identify the sweetness so uh, it is actually very uh, important taste uh, right how to uh, sense the sweetness right how to sense the sweetness is very important right we have uh, receptors in our tongue on our tongue and uh, how to compare the sweetness we can compare we can quantify right we can determine the sweetness of different sweetness by using their threshold values right threshold values right here you can see three examples fructose sucrose and glucose you know fructose is readily available in fruits and honey like thing like uh, naturally available available raw materials glucose you know uh, you all have this experience the sweetness of glucose right and sucrose also so uh, you all know the you all have experience you all experienced on the taste differences in between three in between these three sweetness right fructose you know sucrose you know and glucose right then according to your ex experience then you can imagine its sweetness right which one has the highest sweetness right according to the threshold values right threshold values you can see glucose it has the highest sweetness than fructose and sucrose right so how to determine the sweetness there are different uh, several mechanisms so threshold values are very important and iso sweet technique it's an another technique sweetness of certain certain concentration of specific sweetener versus equal in taste sensation to a certain concentration of sucrose we use the sucrose concentration as the benchmark factor then compare the other sweetness as an example 15.5% of glucose equal to 10% of sucrose 
right? This is entirely based on isosuite negative, right? And relative sweetness scale is also there. There are so many, uh, several mechanisms, practices, and methods. So uh, we, are, we have been discussed two methods. And this is the third one, relative uh, sweetness scale, R double S, right? Assign a value for predetermined sugar concentration. So you can see different values from the range of 1 to 100. Right, one to hundred, there are values for each sweetness. Right, here you can see the reference. Then, if you need more details, you can download this research paper and read. Right, mechanism of sweet sensation. So, you can read the papers I have uploaded to the LMS folder. There are two papers, and download these papers and highlight the important things i am going to ask a question i am going to ask questions regarding uh, these papers too right so you need not to remember the values you would need not to remember the things available in the slides or the papers so i will ask some case studies like practical issues and industrial issues so then you should have a good knowledge and experience and a good thinking pattern, the way of thinking is very important to answer my questions, right? So this is a very important thing, very important uh, uh, points of this lecture. So please try to understand these things carefully, right? Here you can see three pictures. From the first picture, you can see it's uh, the sugar has been dissolved in water. It is, we call it as a sugar solution, right? In the second picture, you can see a small precipitation is there, sugar precipitation is there. For the third one, precipitation has been increased, right? Here, it's little amount, but here, the third one, last one, you can see the large precipitation is there. And the molecular structures also there. Here, you can see. Uh, uh, even texture, even molecule behavior, right? Sugar and water. There are uh, several water molecules has been engaged with the sugar crystal. And the next picture, the middle one, then uh, you can see the similar texture in this area, but at the bottom, you can see sugar precipitated at the bottom and water molecules are there around the sugar crystals, right? around the sugar crystal. But here you can see water molecules around the sugar particles, right? Here you can see there are some bound uh, molecules also, water and sugar, and some particles deposited. But what happened to the last one? What happened to the last one, right? So uh, in these three pictures, right? For this one, this is actually E11, then here precipitate there. But uh, the third one, last one, you can see sugar is, the, all the sugar particles precipitated at the bottom, but water molecules are there. So uh, you have this experience, when we mix some sugar with water, then what is happening? It is, it will dissolve, right? But when we increase the amount of sugar by maintaining the similar uh, water volume, then what is what will happen? Some sugar molecules will precipitate, right? So this is actually uh, uh, this is actually the thing uh, is happening when we mix water when we mix sugar with water, right? Here, as we discussed earlier, granulated sugar means the sugar available in the market, it's granules, right? With water. Now we are going to mix sugar with water, right? It is actually a very general experiment, right? You can do it in your home and uh, perhaps you may, you have this experience in your laboratory also. So they have, I have planned the 
practicals according to these uh, general things, right? Okay. Then sugar crystal starts to separate and dissolve in water, right? Sugar crystals starts to separate and dissolve in water. Here you can see sugar crystals. Then what is happening when we put sugar into the water, right? Here you can see sugar crystals will be separated. When we mix sugar with water, initially there are sugar crystals and they will react. They are they start to they start to react with water, and you know the bonds in between sugar crystals are loose bonds, not tight bonds, right? Weak bonds, right? So therefore, they will react here sugar crystals, and you can see sugar molecules, small sugar molecules, make bonds with form bonds with water molecules. Right? Interaction start with water molecules. Intermolecular forces will be formed. Make intermolecular forces. Okay. There are two steps. Water molecules bind with sucrose molecules. Here you can see water molecules react or bind with form bonds with sucrose molecules. Water molecules pull the sucrose molecules away from the crystal to the solution. Right? What is happening? Basically, we, we know when we mix sugar to, with water, water molecules react with uh, sugar crystals. So you know the, the intermolecule, intermolecular forces in between sugar molecules are weak. Then these bonds will break and make and form bonds will with water molecules. That's the first one. The second one is here the water molecule percentage is high. Neither. sugar So the water molecules are there. Then, as a result of the force made by the water molecules, then more sucrose molecules will be dissolved. Water molecules pull the sucrose molecules away from the crystal to the solution, right? As a result of these two steps, sugar molecules react with water, make bonds with water easy, right? So therefore, you can get this type of sugar solution, right? You can see sucrose molecules, react with water molecules. Oh, it's clear, right? Okay, in this picture also you can see sucrose molecules separating from the sugar crystal and dissolving to the solution, right? And parallelly, there is another reaction. There is another reaction, sucrose molecules leaving the solution and joining the sugar crystal. These two mechanisms are happening parallelly, right? Two mechanisms are happening parallelly, right? Ogolo campus are The first day, first week, what is happening? Either in the la Amalazatra Gaida campus second in Ogodavini, Ogolo Pirisian Kotasak Ogodavini, Pirisian Kotasak. Gametian affairs at Terla, campus second Kati Haga. Right? With the time. Neither. You have right season, so nice uh, uh, boys and girls are there. You have freedom, no parents, no one come to, uh, uh, no one come to ask, where, where are you now? So, what is generally, you will find uh, your, your partner, sometimes for one, two years and sometimes for lifetime partner, right? Okay. Then other people, what is happening? They have affairs in their villages, right? Right? It was sugar vage tamai. Sugar crystal vage ma. Molecule satratina bonde ke ichra haiye nae. Campus ek raavga ma mukade venne. Mehe ke tina bonds ko atro tadam vage tamai. Mehe bonds tika strong. Then you will form 
bonds with water right right athoru dissolve vela yana wedi and meanwhile me atharatura mokada wenne samahara bonds meke thiyena ewa me watte ekak set wenawa right me dekam wenawa ai mokada sathi antime game giya ma ai game ekkenat matak wenawa ai game ekkenat ekak set wenawa ai inna meka right two mechanisms are happening parallel similar right right understood so okay then two mechanisms are there uh, c ni wathura diya wenawa e wageema eka mechanism dehekata wenawa eka sugar molecules wathurath eka react karala bond sada gannawa anith eka wathura avilla sugar crystal eka push karala addala galawa gannawa sugar molecules ehem wenawa anith mechanism eka thamai athule thiyena diya wetche sugar molecules uth aayeth avilla rejoin vela crystal uh, hadaga no right these two processes are currently happening then now we are mixing more sugar to the particular solution then saturation will happen it it means no more solids will dissolve extra granules will precipitate at the bottom of the container because some of the dissolved molecules are rejoining and finally crystallize right can you remember the picture now the sugar solution is it is saturated then no more sugar will dissolve then it will it is started it is uh, and it started to form precipitates hari devala then metana saturated la api you know the you can you remember the ksp value ne in chemistry you know ksp saturation uh, value is there saturation after saturation precipitates will be there right because some of the dissolved molecules are rejoining and finally crystallizing can you remember i have explained this then rate of dissolving rate of crystallization the rate of crystallization means as i told you earlier there are two mechanisms they are uh, happening simultaneously ne the two process dekam wenawa etokota dissolve wena rate ek wedina if the rate of dissolving is in, is uh, higher than uh, rate of uh, crystallization then it means further we can dissolve rate of dissolving equals to rate of crystallization it means now no precipitates no precipitates right it means dynamic equilibrium right we call it as dynamic equilibrium no precipitates and it is actually the stage with high higher saturation value no uh, still we don't have any precipitates but we even and also we can't dissolve any sugar further right right there after what is happening ra rate of crystallization is higher than rate of dissolving as a result of that crystals will uh, bound together and re crystallization will, might happen right this is very general but very important right these three rates are very important and their stages are very important the initial stage dissolve then dynamic equilibrium while the saturation and thereafter recrystallization right three stages are very important right then we are going to increase the temperature we are going to increase the temperature now you can give your comments right the sugar solution is now it is saturated now we need to dissolve more sugar so what we have to do is reduce temperature increase temperature your answer will be increase temperature if we need to dissolve more water more sugar in water then we have to increase the temperature increase increase the temperature means we provide more energy right we provide more energy 
then there is a principle called lee chatelier principle i hope it is you have heard it is a very uh, popular principle in chemistry regarding the saturation according to the lee chatelier principle when we increase the temperature of of uh, some solvent then it will try to decrease the temp decrease the energy right right we are going to increase the energy by providing a temperature but the solvent itself try to reduce the energy so what is the only way to reduce the temperature break the bonds so you know there are several bonds in between water and water sugar and sugar and water and sugar right there are different bonds but all bonds are weak bonds then when we provide the energy the molecules and bonds will absorb that energy and try to reduce the energy it means the solvent itself try to reduce the temperature we are going to increase the solvent going to decrease right as a result of that bonds will break and more sucrose molecules will dissolve at the saturation stage you know uh, it is it means uh, when we increase the saturation stage precipitates are there precipitates means as i explain you here now the stage is like this more bonds form with sugar molecules right what is there no more water and sugar interaction so when we increase the temperature the bonds will break in between sugar uh, and sugar sugar molecules as a result of that then the bonds will break and sugar molecules as so you know what is happening when we break the bonds sugar molecules come to the come to the water then you can dissolve more sugar right that is the mechanism right right understood okay then we can decrease the temperature like as i explain in the previous scenario then according to the lee chatelier principle we are going to decrease the energy right then the solution is going to increase the energy because it's not ready to accept the thing we are going to do external right the solution itself try to uh, increase the energy so to increase energy so you know bonds has to bonds have to form when form bonds when forming bonds energy will release so as a result of that again right again sugar molecules will form bonds as a result of that super saturation will happen it is actually a unstable one so as a result of that precipitate will be there right so this is actually a super saturation state first one you can see it's still dissolving the second one saturation the third one super saturation so you can see these three scenarios in the, this one in this picture so when we increase the temperature by experience you know you we can dissolve more sugar when we increase the temperature that's okay when we decrease the temperature also you know by experience uh, more sugar so the the amount of sugar is has has to be decreased so you know these things these are this is actually the theory right i hope uh, you absorb you have absorbed these things right okay right then right stirring speed right stirring speed is again important uh, you can ask 
this question from your mother also when we are preparing uh, milk toffee and when we prepare uh, sugar honey and when we prepare dodol like products so how to maintain the stirring speed right when it comes to confectioneries also in some uh, uh, houses they are preparing but uh, the sugar honey is more co common uh, commonly in almost all the houses we are preparing sugar honey and milk toffee like thing so how to get the texture and ingredients and the stirring speed so your mother she know by experience how to maintain these factors but nowadays and now we are going to study the theories right what is the, what are the mechanisms behind these uh, practices right the stirring and uh, uh, so when we uh, when we stir when we stir start to stir the melted solution then what is happening stirring prevents large sugar crystals then form small crystal seeds throughout the syrup can you hear the story so to obtain a better flavor we have to stir the, uh, the what do you call the well what, what is happening when we stir it what is happening when we start stirring can you comment on this so uh, I was engaged with one uh, uh, person. So you know, it's a, he's very popular uh, singular teacher, Upul Chanta Sannaskala. We were starting a program. Uh, we have done some uh, two or three programs also. So we had a discussion one day regarding the history and the things we are practiced in our home. So uh, he asked one question from me. So uh, what is the reason behind the styrene when we are cooking? So then I, I uh, comment on that story, comment on that uh, his question. So when we start styrene, then particle size will be decreased. It means no more clots, right? Clots will not form, right? Therefore, we can get a uniform mixture, a uniform texture and a mixture. So that is, we, we call it as a proper flavor, proper texture. You can get a clots, you will get clots, right? So that is the practice, right? So likewise, in the sugar, uh, confectionery's industry the when we start styring then it will uh, prevent large sugar crystals but form small crystal seeds right form small crystal seed uh, with styring right when we stop styring there large number of large crystals will form so as a result of that uh, the, the, can you comment on the transparency of these two products, styred one or non styred one. Styred means small crystals. No, non styred means large crystal. So, therefore, transparency is also totally different. Right? The melted sugar solution make crystal seeds while cooling. So, quick cooling, rapid cooling, and slow cooling is important. So, we have to maintain all these factors carefully to get different types of product, right? If we cool the solution quickly, then no more sugar crystal seeds. As a result of that, you can get glass candies. It means transparent one, right? Slow cooling, hard boiled candies, transparency, transparency is a little bit lower than glass candy. So it means more, sugar crystals large sugar crystals right so 
uh, time is important and stirring speed also important you can get the different dif you can get different stick different textures also it means entirely different products color development sometimes uh, as i told you earlier when we use brown sugar and white sugar the color is different so what is the reason behind the brown and white of sugar basically due to impurities white sugar means it it uh, it is uh, it is a clean one highly clean one so uh, some ingredients they use some uh, food additives they use to clean it but in brown one it's not actually a clean one so uh, there is a rumor in the industry so uh, bleaching we use bleaching for white sugar so therefore we need to it is recommended to eat brown sugar so yes so there are some impurities in brown sugar and uh, white sugar manufacturing we are adding some ingredients so therefore uh, the ingredients always play a critical role in confectioner development and acidity also very important when we increase the acidity and uh, a dextrin value also badly effect on the texture and also the color right Degree of boiling is very important as, I, as we discussed. And to uh, avoid this discolor discoloration, bisulfates we can use, right? And different textures, I hope that uh, you have prepared your lab report based on the experiment. So I am not going to explain the time, not, I'm going to explain the temperature, deviation, and the texture. So you know these things, right? So we can get different textures by altering its temperature, right? As an example, 223 to 35, it's a thread. When we increase it up to uh, 270, you can get soft track and hard ball in 250. If we increase temperature more than 300, then you can get caramels, right? Different textures, different products you can get from the particular raw material, but temperature is the uh, changing factor, right? So you can see uh, this picture, dark caramel and the, how to change the color is very important and the texture. You, can, you know the differences in between these uh, colors and textures. You can do this practical in your home also, right? So let's move to the sugar inversion. Basically, you know how to form sugar. It is a combination of glucose and fructose. Monosaccharide. Two monosaccharides are there. The sucrose is a disaccharide. So inversion means then uh, sucrose convert, converts to the its basic elements. Again, so glucose and fructose. Right? As a result of the as a result of acid and high temperature. Right? Acid and high temperature. So it is important to maintain the temperature and acidity uh, for confection product. If not, inverted sugar inversion will happen. As a result of that, inverted sugar will uh, be there. So the texture is not good. Right? And with this uh, different parameters you can get different concentrations and viscosity also may change here viscosity you can see with a different concentration for sucrose and invert sugar right how you can see how it change and we when we increase the concentration of sugar solution boiling temperature will also be increased right likewise there are different uh, factors so you can understand easily these uh, graphs so i'm not going to explain this okay i'm going to wind up the session today so uh, we have discussed very important things regarding the confectionaries today the industry uh, industries there is an industry so there are so many gaps so we can do so many uh, many more innovations different products we have a good we will have a good market right 
so uh, the critical factors are they are temperature time raw materials and styrene so by maintaining all these factors together then we can get different types of food products right so uh, you have to read the papers i have uploaded to understand the sweet sensation it is very important because uh, if we can when we develop some food products uh, without uh, having the idea of its sensation it is useless so therefore please uh, read these things uh, carefully and do uh, and highlight the things so thank you very much for joining i will upload these lectures to the list okay